everyone. I'm Radhika, the founder of Left Hand Design. We are Singapore's first plantable stationery. We are based in Singapore. We started Left Hand Design in November 2017 and now it's been four years. So the story behind Left Hand Design is I'm a passionate nature lover. Before starting it, I was into advertising and hospitality industry where I work with hotels and that's where I saw a lot of wastage which happened in the hotels and I thought where is this waste going to? Be it food, be it linen, be it toiletries, be it uh, stationery and also helps a consumer to really make a different choice uh, and we want to provide that solution and that's why we started designing stationery which is plantable which goes back to nature. Why is it called left hand design? I will start with that because I'm a lefty. I wanted something different and being a lefty is very different as we all know because whenever you, we used to do marketplaces we always used to have a question are these products only made for left hand users and I used to be like no everybody can use it but all the lefties definitely used to stop and say hi to me before moving on so I think that was a good uh, way of kind of interacting and communicating with them our plantable collection is called beach so beach means seed in Sanskrit and the way it is written is also Sanskrit so I wanted to keep it very simple that's what our products does uh, they have seeds in them so I said you know why not have it as uh, as simple as beach and it means something you know and it's different what inspires me most is nature. Being in nature, being around nature, be it going for walks, talking to a friend, going to a library. So these are simple everyday objects which kind of inspires me and I observe them. So all my designs are translated into that. Mainly they are all nature driven. It all depends as I said a person to person how they perceive a sustainability and being eco-friendly. These are big words, but it really needs to translate how we take actions. And that's what is lacking. Uh, people know about stuff, people are well read, people are aware of these things. But what happens, it doesn't get it translated into action. And it is something which takes a long time. Just as simple as starting using your stationery. We go to a stationery shop, we go to the aisle and we look at the fancy notebook or a beautiful looking pen. But at the end of it, when you look at it, it's a plastic pen. So eventually what happens to that pen? Uh, you are filling up landfills and there's so much of plastic waste uh, which goes around, uh, which takes years and years to biodegrade. Now with us, you have an option to use a plantable pen and what happens is the seeds are here and this capsule dissolves when you put it in the soil and you mix it with water and the outer body completely biodegrades. So what's left is your refill which is just 10% plastic. Go to a recycling center and I just need to recycle these, you know, reduce it to waste so they can help you with that. So the idea is to use and grow instead of use and throw. It's the same with our pencils. So once you finish using, so I, the idea is to use it and make it that much. Once you put it in the soil and you mix it with water and it just biodegrades. The lead what we use is also eco-friendly which does doesn't affect the germination of the seed, which we do have that question a lot. Apart from the pens and the pencils, we also have paper, which also goes back to nature. Now, for example, these are our notebooks, come with seeds in them. So the front and the back is plantable and it comes with a instruction sheet at the second last page. It says, plant me, I will grow into a basil. So what happens is once you finish using and the inside pages are recycled paper, it's a blank notebook, easier to write, draw, take notes, whatever you want to do and then just take the front and the back and you can plant it. We started with the pencils first, then we introduced pens, notebooks, then we introduced greeting cards which are also 100% biodegradable. They come with seeds. So this one is a carrot seed. There are 5-6 designs which you can choose from, different herbs. So in, in total we now have 13 herbs from ranging from all the products and we don't sell them with envelopes. Note cards which are empty at the back and these are wildflowers. So you can write a note to a friend or family or you know any occasion and then you can ask them the recipient to plant it instead of reducing it to waste. We introduced TNY Angbaos. So these are simple cute little envelopes which you can you know use it as Angbaos. Um, you can add you know money or you can add a pen, you can add a gift, you can add any small gift and use it as packaging so they can reduce it to uh, soil. And the packaging what we use is very simple. We reuse packaging 
getting uh, as much as we can from all the groceries we get uh, get from or fair price or red mart or ntuc so we try to reuse as much as we can in terms of cartons but what we do have these cloth bags uh, which we give our a greeting card or a notebook in so that they can reuse it instead of again wasting it Thank you guys for listening to us and I hope you join in in this movement of making the switch. We've had some really positive feedback for last 4 years. It is not an easy journey. We are really excited and passionate about what we do and this is what we want to share with you guys. Make the switch with us and thank you for your support for last 4 years. We are super passionate about what we do. Create awareness, educate each other, learn from each other, spread positive vibes and nature all around. around so that the next generation which comes in are safe help in climate change whatever we can do in a small way we should so thank you for joining in and listening to us today